We've come a long way as human beings, from the discovery of fire, to the invention of the wheel, modern medicine, indoor plumbing coming up big, yeah. to maybe the biggest of all, the internet. And it can be scary sometimes not knowing what the future holds, but if there's one thing we can learn from all those successful businesses before us, it's that if you wanna stick around, you can't be afraid to adapt. As adaptable as humanity is, we're still shockingly resistant to change. Which makes sense, new technology is a cocktail mixed with equal parts enthusiasm and hesitation. Disruptions, changes, new ways of doing processes, these things can cost an individual their sense of comfort. We need to be aware of this and sympathetic when we're introducing new ways and new technology to our businesses. See, our employees and our coworkers, they may be a little afraid and hesitant, but we need to understand that we have to find the best way to introduce these things and move forward because the worst thing we can do is see that and get scared and then fall back and become complacent. Uh, businesses that have done that in the past, it hasn't worked out too well. Here's two businesses you know. Well, one you probably forgot about. They, they're bookstores, you know, the things with the paper and the... Uh, anyway, the internet was coming on strong, so what were they to do? Well, Barnes & Noble, they saw the future and they decided to scale back their offerings of CDs, DVDs, in-store stuff, while Borders actually doubled down because they knew that's what they were good at at the time. Once they saw competitors out there like Amazon getting stronger, Barnes & Noble decided to start focusing heavily on their online bookstore presence, while Borders actually had Amazon handle all their online orders. And finally, they knew the internet was upon us and Barnes & Noble's decided to scale down the size of their locations and even the number of them, just focusing on larger populated areas, while Borders actually got more in-store stuff and even doubled the amount of stores that they had, which obviously left them bankrupt. And let's see who the winner is. Surprise. So you may be thinking, well, those are books, not really the most technologically advanced item. That's fine. How about these guys then? One of them, made their whole living off of in-store late fees, which we all know about. The other read the customer trends and saw that customers will pay, just don't make it any hidden agenda, make it a one-time flat fee. And just because they didn't have any brick and mortar doesn't mean that they didn't have to constantly evolve as well. They saw that mail order was kind of falling by the wayside, so they cut it completely in a shocking move and just went to online streaming. These guys, well, they did that, but only after seeing the competitor and it was too late at that point. So one of them adapted to the technological advances and listened to the customers, while the other had employees that laughed at that 10 year old who was getting reamed out in the middle of the action aisle because he was being told he was too immature for that movie, even though his boy Mike had seen it two weeks earlier and he's three years younger than him. So that didn't add up or make much sense, did it? But I saw they were going out of business, so I showed up a week before and I got my hands on Speed 2 Cruise Control. So who has that for free and laughing now? So we know we need to adapt. We know the future isn't stopping, but we also know that it's gonna be met with a lot of hesitation from within our own walls. It's always best to not target individuals, but groups. That way they can learn new processes together. They can vent about these new processes and frustrations to each other. But at the end of the day, they can succeed together. The final thing to never forget is that innovation directly causes disruption with all processes. We have to move forward, we have to adapt, but predicting that you are going to have employee disruption is going to go so far, and having a system ready to handle that backlog is gonna make you successful. I highly recommend checking out the blog in our description below to find out what set of systems works best for you and your team.